Alright, so the little one has emerged from its egg and his tail. Now I will see you on this one. Welcome back to Josh McNerland's Reptiles. Before we get into today's video, I want to ask that you please hit that like button, comment down below on what you want to see in future videos, and subscribe to follow along for more adventures. As you can probably guess from the title of the video, today I have another baby tortoise that is pipping right now. It is another home hingeback tortoise, the same clutch as the other two eggs, so I've had a 100% success rate hatching them. I had three eggs and all three have pipped. I am so stoked to meet this little tortoise. And of course, it's a timely process from the beginning of pipping to the time it finally hatches. So I'm going to update you guys along the process and show you this beautiful life entering the world. I am so excited to share this with you guys and meet this wonderful little creature. Now let's get right on into it. Look at that little face. The third egg has begun pipping here from this clutch. I am so excited to see this one. It is uh, almost a week later from the first one. And look at that cute little face. Come on, meet the world, little buddy. Oh, this is so cool. Unbelievable feeling. Close your eyes. Oh, grumpy. Okay, I won't bother you. Okay. You, you, you get out at your own pace there. And I will let you enjoy the last comforts of your home like state. <laughs> How cool. All right, I'll update you guys when this one starts coming out a little bit more. All right, so it has been a few hours and this little one is slowly but surely making his way out. How cool is that? You do it at your own pace, little buddy. Can't wait to meet you though. This is awesome. All right guys, so it's been about 20 seconds and this one in my hand literally just like pushed with its back legs and burst this whole shell open. I really wish I would have had that on tape. It would have been so cool. Hey, come on out, buddy. You can do it. You are pretty much already out, if you look. Oh yeah, come on. Put it back, Let's see if it comes out. Unfortunately, I do have to go back into work, so I can't just sit here and put a time lapse up as I need my phone for my job. Otherwise, I would just put up a time lapse and watch it hatch. How cool. This little one is a character. It was so cool the way that egg just burst in my hand. I'm so bummed I did not get that on tape. Come on out at your own pace. I do have to go back into work, so I will update you guys when I get back, and I have to imagine it'll probably already have crawled out of the egg at that point. All right, so the little one has emerged from its egg. It has been all day. Uh, I noticed it first pipping around like 4 a.m., and it is now getting close to midnight. So let's take a look at its yolk, and Kinda of hard to tell given all the peat moss and look at how folded that little one is. It's just, I can't get over how wild that is and how quickly they uh, rebound and straighten themselves out. It really only takes about 12 hours of them being out of the egg for that to rebound. So I will uh, give this little one a bath and show you what he looks like all cleaned up. So this little one has had its first bath and is all cleaned up. You can see that is a beautiful looking animal with one spiky shell. And that is a crazy big yolk sack and the one warped looking tortoise, I gotta be honest with you. It's amazing that these guys just uh, grow folded in half since they're bigger than the shell they're growing in or the egg they're growing in. It's just, it looks totally deformed and it's really amazing how quickly uh, they rebound from it. It does not take very long at all. Like tomorrow morning, that animal will not look nearly as drastically deformed as it does at the moment. And then a day later, you won't even tell it, it looked like this. It's really cool. I wonder what that feels like for the animal. It's gotta be a funky process. I guess hatching and unfolding is its own trauma <laughs> what a cool animal though and it's such a cool experience to be able to hatch such a critically endangered species i uh i'm still pinching myself ever since that first egg hatched uh, this has been an incredible process and i cannot wait until the other clutch i have 
also begins hatching because all of those babies are uh, fertile and they're moving around in the egg and you can totally see the embryo. It is very cool. I'll definitely do another uh, egg update video on them. And I will sh get back with you guys in a second. Before I put this one away, I wanted to show you this cool comparison between uh, the freshly hatched baby and one that hatched just a couple days ago. Um, I mean, you can really see that the tortoise is like totally unfurled itself and uh, has come more into its actual shape rather than the, the shape of the egg. I mean, they're literally, they hatch like the shape of the egg and just kind of straighten themselves out into the shape that they belong in. <laughs> it's really amazing. And the plastron is also like a super drastic difference. I mean, look at how warped that is. And then this one, uh, it isn't totally healed over, but that plastron, you wouldn't ever have been able to tell that it was folded and deformed looking like that one. It's very, very cool in my opinion. All right, now I will see you when this one looks like this one all right since we still have time i think we'll close the video out with a cool clip of my galapagos tortoise darwin just munching down on a pile of mulberry leaves one of his favorite foods so let's go check that out Beat it. Cute. All right, everybody, that's about it for today's video. I wanna thank you so much for sticking along to the end. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button, comment down below on what you thought of today's video, and subscribe to follow along for more adventures. Thank you guys for watching, and before you go, remember, follow whatever excitement ignites the passion you have in your soul. It'll take you where you need to be, I promise. I love you guys, have a great rest of your day. Adios.